Where do you get the sheath for that sword? You just make it? Or do you have it on him? Pig. Pig. Okay, moving on. Oh, hey, blood. Blood. Fresh. What a wonderful observation. Okay. Oh, dead pig. Everybody loves bacon. <laughs> okay. This is about just a wagon, apparently. Okay. That's father's car. That's kind of random, don't you think? That you would happen to run as your father's car? Oh. Everybody loves bacon. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself? Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. You already killed them, that's not possible. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> no. I'll have that sword, boy. Come get it, you bastard. Motherfucker. <laughs> and come on. Just be a little bit more badass. And you're an idiot. Alright. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Was well, kind of pathetic, dude. Axe. And thus you kill the man. Good job. Next. Ah, oh, come on, this is just too easy. Oh! In the fucking leg. Fuck you! No! I have a family. I don't care. Really? Die. No, please! Lord Whitefield will see you hang for this. Really? That much I promise. Brit? Brit! Oh, fuck you, Brit. Oh, I'm probably screwed after Father? this. Yeah, fuck it. Garrett, 
You survived. Your sister. She hid. This kind of utterly random. I would just happen upon my father. I tried to stop them. And then he dies. I'll kill the men who did this. Well, you already killed two out of three. Need one more. Look at that painting. It's Garrett. Seriously, Garrett I, I was a. Survived. Okay, I was a squ uh, Whatever. I was a squire, but I'm related to actually important people, apparently, so people can recognize the shit out of me. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall quickly. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. Everybody she loves bacon. Old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. <sighs> Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. Cause These fuck those guys. To help prevent infection. Ew. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Ew. Yes, let's see this in gory detail. Drop those bugs in my leg. Yeah. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Roderick was already dead. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. You know, the leg with the open wound, you just put maggots in. Yeah. Go on. Don't stop now. Do a jig! Just let the blood circulate. Dance, motherfucker. Dance. Windows. The Ironwood Grove. So they named House Forester literally because they f they do trees and junk with trees because trees. Okay. 
I guess, you know. If you're gonna have a house name, be literal. It's not the worst. Look at Mira. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. I don't know who these people are. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Too bad you're not, shit dick. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Well, he's kind of moved up a few notches, hadn't he? It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick, he was our best warrior by far. And yet you distracted him twice, which got him killed. Hmm, you seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mr. Tengren. Look, I, I'll show you. Walking, walking, walking. Look at it. I don't think I'm supposed to go anywhere else, but, uh... Look at Bucket. Full of maggots. Touch it. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? No. No, they're not. Fuck you and your bugs. I'm just touching everything now. Oh, no, I took it. Okay, cool. Sweet. Alright, now I just need to find uh, some red, and mile. then I can combine it and make some great healing pill things. Whatever. Show my sword. No, that's not what I meant, but whatever. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of foresters. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you. you would be more relieved Talia if everyone else you. survived. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Also, like... Yours, I guess? I don't know. I'm so sorry. I don't know who's related to who right now. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course Just keep praising did. him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family! 
I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So Probably murdered? I don't know. I assume murdered. They said the Sarks were dead. <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan? But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Uncle. My place is here. Who will defend the house? He said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. You... I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. Still not right. No, it's not. But it's what's best. That settles it then. Well, that's shitty. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Wait, Uncle Guy, I have the thing to tell you. Why am I not getting the option to tell the uncle the thing? Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. Wait, I've been wait. waiting for the right moment to tell Okay, you. good. Finally. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't yeah, told anyone much. else, have you? Nope. This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. 
okay? I will be like Aragorn. I think. I don't know. Whatever. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Seriously, Your actions it... at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with Do, honor. Does Game of Thrones honestly have these like catchphrases? Are these in the show that people say all the time? Because they're kind of dopey. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Iron from ice. Vinta is coming. Garrett, wait. Okay. Necklace. Be safe. There's a tree on this. Everybody likes bacon. Uh, that was the best dialogue choice so far. Everybody likes bacon.